Hello guys, this is Sahil. Welcome to Cloud Doctor. In the previous video, we have created a GET endpoint to get all of the certificate data, and in this video, we will create another GET endpoint to get the delete requested data. So let's start with the video. So let me open VS Code, and we will start with the YAML file. First of all, we will create our Lambda function. So here, what we will do. here we will copy our user specified data function and we will just paste it here and it will be get delete data the name of the function will be get delete data and the handler will be api slash delete data dot certificate and we just need to change the path here path will be certificate list slash delete data so now our lambda function has been completed so now we will start working with our handler file so the name of the handler file will be delete data we will create a new file here delete data dot js and what we will do we will copy everything from user data and we will paste it in the delete data dot js and what are the things which needs to be changed so it it will be delete client and i will replace everywhere We don't need this if else block here. So we will just remove it. So now our handler file is also ready. We will just deploy it and check. So let me open the terminal. The deployment procedure has been initiated. So let me open Postman and create a new request. So here I will create a new request, and the name of the request will be get delete data. Now, as we can see, the deployment procedure has been completed, and we have got a new endpoint here. So let me copy this endpoint, and we will post it in the postman. so before sending the request what we need to do we will just check into our dynamo db table that if there is any data in which delete request has been flagged so let me open aws console so this is our table as here we can see we have three datas in which delete flag is delete requested okay so now what we need to do we need to send the delete flag in the params so the key will be delete flag and the value will be delete requested okay so now let me click on send yeah as we can see we have got a response here as we can see here we got three datas in which the delete flag is delete requested so now let us raise one more delete request so i will copy one id from the dynamo db table in which the delete request flag has been not raised so let me copy this and after that i will paste it here and i will click on send so now let me verify once as we can see now in this data the delete flag is also delete requested so now let us send the request again to get the delete data yeah so now as we are getting four datas the count is four so that's all for this video in the next video we will create another endpoint 
I request you to please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be adding videos frequently to complete this series. Thank you.